The strategy will include three indicators. So without further ado, let's add the first indicator to the chart. So head over to the indicator section of trading your platform and type moving average exponential and add this indicator to the chart. Then head over to its settings and in the input section change the length value to 150. Note that the method of this moving average must be SMA. Then in the style tab change the color as you desire. So whenever the price action is above the moving average the market has an uptrend. And when the price action is below the moving average, the market has a downtrend. Now it's time to add the second indicator to the chart. So again from the indicator section of the trading view platform, type moving average exponential and add the second moving average to the chart. Then head over to the second indicator settings and in the input section change the length to 50. And also note that this moving average method should be SMA. Then in the style tab change the color as you wish. Now we have two moving averages on the chart. A moving average with 150 period and another one with 50 period. Now to enter a buy trade, the price action must be above the 150 moving average. Then we're gonna wait for the price action to pull back to the 150 line. And after that, we should wait for the price action to break out the 50 moving average. The long signal is issued with a breakout of 50 moving average. And exactly opposite is true for a short trade. To into a short trade, the price action should be below the 150 moving average. Then we wait for the price action to pull back to the 150 line. After that, the price action should break out the 50 moving average. So a short signal is issued with breakout of the 50 moving average. Now let's get into some more examples to better understand the strategy. Now it's time to add the third indicator to the chart to make the strategy more accurate. But before that, if you're looking for making profit in forex market, please join our Telegram channel. You can find the link in the description of this video. Now to add the last indicator in the trading view indicator section, search momentum histogram. and click on this one to add it to the chart. Then in the settings of this indicator, act exactly step by step as in the video. Now it's time to fully review the rules of entry and exit in this strategy. First, the rules of entering a buy trade. For the first condition, the price action should be above the 150 moving average. And second, we're gonna wait for the price action to pull back to the 150 moving average.
then the price action should break out the 50 moving average. And the last but not least, the histogram of the momentum histogram indicator must be above the zero level. So if all these conditions are met, the buy signal is confirmed, as in this example. But in the previous signal, because the momentum histogram was below the zero level, the signal was rejected. At the close price of the breakout candle, we can enter a buy trade. Then place the stop loss under the previous stream. Consider the target as one and a half times greater than the stop loss. Now the rules for entering into a sell trade are as follows. First, the price action should be below the 150 moving average. Then we're going to wait for the price action to pull back to the 150 moving average. Then the price action should break out the 50 moving average line. And last but not least, the histogram of the momentum histogram indicator must be below the zero level. And if all these conditions are met, a sell signal is confirmed, as in this example. At the close price of the breakout candle, we can enter into a sell trade. And place the stop loss above the previous swing. And consider the target one and a half times greater than the stop loss value. But if you're looking for a strategy with a higher accuracy than this strategy, I suggest you to watch this video as the next video.